subscribe and click bell button. In this video, we are going to see about servo motor. Actually, the servo motor is used in automatic control system. System to control the position of an object is called a servo mechanism. Actually, it converts electrical signal into angular position on a soft. The servo motor is nothing but it is a motor which is mainly used to control the position of a system. For example, there is a box. Its position to be controlled means we have to use a motor. When the box reaches a particular position, we have to stop that motor. When the box need to move another position, again we have to operate a motor. So, the mechanism used in this motor is servo mechanism. So, it is called as a servo motor. The features of servo motor is linear relationship between speed and electrical signal, steady state stability, linearity of mechanical characteristics throughout the entire speed range, fast response. So, these are all the important features. It means it gives linear relationship. Next, types of servo motors. Basically, depends upon the nature of supply, there are two types. One is DC motor, another one is AC motor. We know basic electrical AC and DC motor and its types. So, what is the difference between DC motor and DC servo motor? To convert a DC motor into a DC servo motor, so we have to match some special design that means it should have lightweight, low inertia and low inductance in armature part. So if we do by using this consideration that DC motor is called as a DC servo motor. We know where it is mainly used. It is mainly used to control the position of an object. Next one is AC type. So basically a two phase induction motor is called as a AC, AC servo motor. So in this, so one thing we have to do. So in normal induction motor, X by R ratio will be high. But in servo motor, we have to use high resistance. It means X by R ratio is low. So what is the reason why, why we have to use high resistance induction motor? Because so we know basically induction motor is having non-linear characteristics but servo motor one of the main feature is it should have linear linear characteristics therefore to convert non-linear characteristics into linear characteristics so we have to use high resistance instead of inductance we see from this speed torque curve this is the characteristics of actual induction motor so we see this is not a linear one so suppose if we use high resistance value so it characteristics will be linear so to convert non-linear into linear so we have to use high resistance instead of induct high inductance so this is the difference between ac servo motor and dc servo motor next merits of dc servo motor it will give high output when compared to the same type of ac motor which will be used for 50 hertz and also it is more linear than AC and EC speed control is possible high torque to inertia ratio delivering over three times the rated torque whereas in AC motor it can deliver 2.5 times the normal AC induction motor next demerits of DC servo motor demerit is only expensive is the demerit of DC servo motor when compared to AC servo motor. Next, AC servo motor. Merits of AC servo motors are low cost. Then, because this is expensive, it means it is low cost. Then, high efficiency, we know because in AC there is no commutator or brushes. Therefore, that losses will be not available in AC, AC motor. Therefore, it will be having high efficiency. So in DC, due to the due to the not availability of brushes and commutator, we no need to do maintenance frequently. Therefore, it will be having less maintenance. Next, so there is no commutator and brushes. So these are all the merits, important merits of AC servo motor. Demerits of AC servo motors are non-linear characteristics. Even though 
we use high resistance it may have some inductance due to which we cannot get exact nonlinear characteristics but we can convert we cannot exactly get linear characteristics but we can convert these type of non nonlinearity into almost linearity so difficult to control for positioning operation the main application of servo motor is to control a position of an object but by using this ac servo motor it is very difficult for positioning an automatic system next application of servo motors so actually we know it is expensive and also it can generate more uh, uh, torque therefore dc servo motor can be used for high power applications for example machine tools robotics so this is the application of dc next these are all the application of ac so we know ac we we can use for low power application especially xy recorders and computer accessories we know disk drives tape drives printers are computer accessories so these are all the merits and demerits of ac servo motor these are all the merits and demerits of dc servo motors so that's all about the servo motor what are the types of servo motor merits and demerits and applications of servo motor so now this is servo mechanism actually there is a load its shaft is connected with the motor shaft through a gear system so now this motor is supplied by a generator now the generator's field will be controlled through this system actually the field winding of this motor is kept constant it means the supply to the motor field is constant so now we are going to vary the armature voltage of this motor according to the armature voltage generated by this generator motor speed will vary so now we see this is a potentiometer actually the resistance value of this and this a and b are same it means when reference and actual it means so here now this part will get the actual position of this load and it will generate the its position resistive position here so now here we are going to fix a reference so now if current position and reference position are same means this voltage source will deliver a current to both the resistance the both the currents are same suppose this is ia this is ib so now both are same it means here the reference value and actual value both are same means error equal to zero so here if also zero this will not generate any voltage it means motor will not run suppose if the position of this load to be changed means so now its resistive value either increase or decrease depends upon the position to be changed the resistive value may increase or decrease so now accordingly here error will be generated this amplifier will amplify the error signal and will give to the field winding of this generator so according to the field this generator will vary its generated voltage that will be supplied to the motor so now motor will rotate when the load position is reached the reference value so now this resistance value this resistance value will be same at the time current through both the resistance are same here error is zero here if also zero there is no voltage generated by generator the motor will stop running so this is an example of closed loop system